Generally speaking, when a website that is free for me to use changes their UI, I don't give a shit. However, the new Facebook design clearly outlines the problem with the internet as it exists today. Namely, that computer algorithms are now deciding for us what is important and what is not important. Then they feed us more of what we should be interested in or are interested in according to the algorithm and less of what we're not interested in, thereby effectively eliminating any dissenting voices from our news feeds. I intentionally keep friends who have radically different viewpoints from me in my news feed so that I can at least see what they're talking about and thinking about. The problem, however, is that I'm not actually interacting with those newsfeed items. I more often like and comment on newsfeed items which reinforce already held beliefs by me. This algorithmic decision-making has been called the filter bubble by people who are far smarter than me who study this kind of thing. Basically, the internet is filtering out for us everything that we disagree with and reinforcing all the things that we do agree with, and this is a problem. The problem exists on Facebook, on Google, on Netflix, on Amazon, on various other sites that decide for us what we like and what we don't like. As I said at the beginning of this video, I generally don't care when websites that are free for me to use change their UI, but Facebook has made the filter bubble a core tenet of their newest design. And they're pretty open about it. They say that they are actually deciding what is most popular and relevant to us and then feeding that more to us. This isn't a new technology. It's been iterating for several years on Facebook, except that now, it's out in the open, whereas before, it was kind of iterating in the background. With the newest Facebook design, I can't actually choose to see all of my recent posts in order that they appear. In fact, all of my dissenting, hardcore, Republican, conservative Christian friends have been hidden from me on my feed. And that is a serious problem. All of this filter bubbling has made me greatly reconsider my interactions with Facebook in general. I do not want Facebook's algorithms to decide for me what I should and should not see. I want to decide that for myself. So, I'm deleting my Facebook account. Are you? Thanks for watching my video, guys. Don't forget to rate and comment and do all the great YouTube things that we always do. If you're watching this on Google+, comment below as well. We get unlimited characters, so... Bam, that's awesome. If you're interested in the talk about filter bubbles, it was given at the TED conference and there is a link in the description. There's also some links to some older videos on the screen right now as well if you'd like to go check those out. I will talk to you guys whenever it is that I make another video. Goodbye.